If you don't have money and you want to become a commercial airline pilot, today I'm going to show you how to learn to fly with no money. And I will give you the best flight training advice on how to finance your flight training, including flying scholarships and sponsorships. To fund or finance your airline pilot training, you generally have the following six options. Number one, pilot training scholarships. Two, airline catered programs. Three, military route. Four, bank loan. Five, complete a modular flight training. Number six, saving up money. Let's start with the pilot training scholarship. First, let me define what is the meaning of a scholarship. Scholarship means that your flight training will be paid for by the flight school. Any organization or generous donors who provide support to the aviation scholarships to maintain aviation's future. How to apply for a flight training scholarship? There are important points you have to put in mind before you apply for a scholarship. Number one, the flight training scholarship has a specific worth. It could cover the full flight training or most of the time only part of the flight training. There are deadlines and timelines to apply for a scholarship and you have to apply within these deadlines. Number three, there are minimum requirements and the eligibility to apply for a scholarship such as citizenship, residency permit, gender, as an example, male or female. If you are within the deadlines of the application and fulfilling all the general requirements, you can complete and submit an application to the flight school or the organization which provide the scholarship. Currently, there are many scholarships available all over the world. In the description below, I have provided you with the best pilot training programs in the world. I'm updating these links regularly, so please check them from time to time and I hope you will find them helpful. If you have any experience with flight training scholarships, please leave me a comment. The second way to finance your airline pilot training is through an airline catered program. Just the prior to COVID-19 pandemic, there were some airlines that offer fully funded flight training. Unfortunately, the number of these airlines decreased dramatically. Airlines have felt full financial strain after the COVID-19 pandemic, and it will likely take many years to recover. The good news is, that currently there are plenty of airlines offering catered programs that are fully self-funded by the student and you will do the flight training through a contracted flight school with the airline. The advantage of the catered program is that the student can join the airline after graduation. To be accepted in one of these catered programs, you have to go through an airline selection process. In the description below, I have listed most of the current fully sponsored and self-sponsored airline catered programs around the world. And I will update them regularly, so please check them from time to time. If you have an experience with catered programs, please leave me a comment. The third way to finance your flight training is the military route. If you join the military to become a fighter jet pilot, they will pay for all your flight training. But you will have a bond to the military for a certain years of service. After you leave the military, you can convert your flying experience into a commercial pilot license. Honestly, I do not recommend that you apply to the military purely because you want to be a commercial pilot. You really need genuine motivation to become a military pilot with full of appreciation of the role and the lifestyle, what you will have by committing your time and dedicate your life to serve your country. Please bear in mind that manually flying fast jet or heavy transport aircraft at low level is 
one of the real flights which you won't experience when you join an airline. The fourth way to finance your flight training is to take a loan from a bank. Due to the amount of money you need to borrow, banks will require a guarantor. That means you need to secure the loan against an asset, and the asset is typically a property. The majority of the future commercial pilots won't start their flight training shortly after leaving school. And clearly, you are unlikely to have a property at this age. Therefore, you are generally reliant on your parents or other family members, such as your grandparents. Securing the loan against a property or mortgaging the house for you. Unfortunately, this is not an option for everyone, as not all families own their homes. Some banks offer flight training specific loans, which offer small payment until you have finished your flight training. Otherwise, you need to start paying the loan back straight away. But clearly, you won't be earning any money while you are completing a full-time integrated flight training course. The risk of a bank loan is that if you don't end up with a flying job as soon as you completed your flight training, you might not be able to pay the loan off. In the last years, many student pilots have had their airlines cancel their provision offer of a job halfway through their training or have been made redundant from their airline while still trying to pay off the loan. If the loan repayment cannot be made, you need to think about what your alternative plans are to protect the property you may have secured the loan on. The fifth way to finance your flight training is to complete a modular flight training. To know the difference between integrated flight training and modular flight training, I've created a full detailed video on my YouTube channel about the difference between both of them. And you will find the link of the video in the description below. The beauty of the modular flight training is that you can complete each part of the training as when you choose to. It is also much a cheaper way of getting a commercial pilot license. Doing it this way allows you to keep working while completing your flight training on the side for a cheaper price and when you can afford it. Obviously, the timeline for how long it will take to complete your training, it depends on how much you earn and how much you can afford. The last way to finance your flight training is to save up. If your dream is to become an airline pilot and you want to have a full-time integrated flight training program and you don't have the financial ability to do so, start on another career path and save up. It seems difficult, but if you start as soon as you can, you can manage to save a certain amount of money yearly until you collect the flight training costs. This path needs a huge amount of patience, motivation, and dedication. But remember, airline recruiters are very impressed by the people who have shown some determination to pursue their dream job. In the end, make your dream of becoming a pilot a reality and fight for it. Here is the main question. Do you have what it takes to start your journey to become an airline pilot? I wish that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. I will be waiting for your comments, questions, and requests for the new topics you want me to deliver in the future.